here we have a system y of t equals sine x of t. And we want to test if it's a linear system. And to do that test, we test for additivity, then we test for homogeneity. So we start with the test of additivity, and that's straightforward. All we need to do is feed our inputs x1 and x2 into our system. The outputs will be sine x1 of t and sine x2 of t, because that's what my system does. It takes the input and calculates the sine. And when I add those two together, that will give me sine x1 plus sine x2. And then I'll do the same again and see if I get the same output. But this time I'll add the inputs before feeding into the system. So at this point, I'll have x1 plus x2. And that will be the input to the system. What does the system do? It takes the input and it calculates the sine. So here, the output would be sine of x1 of t plus x2 of t. And for the test of additivity to be successful, these two need to be exactly the same. Now, are they the same? Is sine a plus b equal to sine a plus sine b? Clearly not. So these are not the same. So therefore, the system is not additive. And if it's not additive, we can say, therefore, the system is non-linear because additivity is a condition for linearity. So we've just shown that the system is non-additive and non-linear by applying that test. We didn't need to carry out this test because it failed the test of additivity.